A big night at the reservation. Port Natchez Groves welcoming Port Arthur Memorial. It's the last two undefeated teams in District 22-5A. Pick up the action. First quarter, Keith Jones, the quarterback who is committed to SMU as a wide receiver. Well, he finds wide receiver James Francis in the end zone, 25 yards. It's 7-0 PAT. Then Jones going to give this ball to Elijah Hines, who just tosses it up. Somehow the catch is made. Pass interference on the Indians declined. That would lead to a field goal. 10-0, fourth and goal, Hines. He's going to take it in. 17-0, Port Arthur. The Indians need an answer, and they're going to get it in the form of this. Rashawn Johnson, the University of Texas commit, only a junior. He's going to go 62 yards. It's 17-7. Now Johnson out of the shotgun. Going to hand it off to Preston Riggs. He's coming on the end around, and he's going to toss it to Cameron Stansberry, and he's got himself a score from 30 yards out. It's 17-14. But the Titans are going to answer right back. Elijah Hines taking the handoff and making it look easy, and when he does, check this out. He's going to silence the crowd. It's a touchdown, and Port Arthur has extended their lead to 23-14 after the extra point was blocked, but then just before the half, it's Jones on the fake handoff, 30 to 14, PA at the break. Second half, Johnson to Riggs, 17 yards, it's 30 to 20. Coach Faircloth says, hey, let's go for two. That's a good idea because Johnson's gonna keep it himself, taking it in, it's 30 to 22, it's a one score game. Now, later, it's Johnson again, over the top to his favorite target, Preston Riggs, he is down at the one yard line. From there, Johnson is gonna call his own number and he scores. Indians down by two, guess what? They're gonna go for two again. And this time, Rashawn Johnson swinging it out to Preston Hughes. He's gonna be met by defenders, but the ball breaks the plane. That two point conversion is good. We are tied up at 30. Port Arthur though, they would not go away. Hines. Going to just make it look easy once again. Extra point was no good thanks to a fumbled snap. It's 36-30. That would be huge because check this out. Johnson nearly taken down. He's going to swing it out to Riggs, and it's right back in the quarterback. Rashawn Johnson's hands, and guess what? He's going to go 43 yards, and it's a 37-36 PNG lead after the extra point. Indians not done yet, looking for some insurance, and it's Johnson to Riggs. We've said that all year long. 47 yards, Indians take an eight-point lead. It's 44-36. But you knew that Port Arthur was going to have one last shot, and they try to take advantage. It is. Keep the Jones finding Francis. They are setting up shop. Third and goal from the three-yard line. Jones is taken down at the three. Now remember, I said it was third and goal. Jones scrambling. Titans have no timeouts. Final seconds ticking off, and he spikes the ball in the confusion. The officials talking this one over, and after they talk it over, that's right, the spike came on fourth down. Indians win 44 to 36 in a wild one. All right, congratulations, Preston. Huge win tonight, and you throw two touchdown passes. Are you trying to take Rashawn's job or what? I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Uh, he's a great quarterback. You know, UT commit. Uh, I couldn't do anything without him. Uh, I mean, he, he's a freak of nature, so, I mean, he can do anything. If you ask him to throw the ball, he'll throw the ball. So, I mean, but I don't know about taking my position. That's a far-fetched <laughs> far idea. What did Coach tell y'all at halftime? Because y'all came out with the fire in that second half. Yeah, I mean, we just – he just told us it was a long game and to just uh, keep fighting. I mean, the game wasn't over. Even when it was 17-0, really, nobody was really nervous. And you just got to keep playing and keep fighting. Rashawn does what, you know, Rashawn does. But let's also talk about Preston Riggs. He throws two touchdowns tonight. <laughs> you know, I, that's what it's going to take. You know, Coach Harrison and his staff do a great job over Memorial. They're going to have a great defensive game plan. So we, we knew we were going to have to go to the trick place tonight to score some touchdowns. And, uh, you know, we always practice those. So, you know, when you get a chance to run them in a game and be successful, it sure does make it fun. And lastly, how long until you forget about this one and you're focusing on Vider now? Uh, yeah, tomorrow morning. You know, it's like I told our kids, I, you know, I'd love to take the week off next week and relax and enjoy this win, but that's not how it goes in our district. Uh, with every big win comes another another great test next Friday night, and obviously Vider's a great team and going to, you know, pose a huge problem for us. So uh, we got to go back to work tomorrow and start getting ready for Vider and uh, move on and 
think about this game, you know, sometime in 2018.